Assalamualaikum and hi. I am Dayang Kurauda from a fourth year pharmacy student studying at University Brunei Darussalam. In this video, I would like to focus and expand on urinary tract infection (UTI) and its treatment, focusing on potassium citrate. UTI is a major health concern to both community and hospital settings. UTI are estimated to affect 150 million people worldwide each year, making them the fifth most common type of healthcare associated infection. UTI are the most common outpatient infections in adult women, with up to 60% of women experiencing once in their whole lifetime. It is more common for the woman to get UTI as the woman become older. So what is UTI? UTI is a bacterial infection that can affect any region of the urinary system. Now that we know what is UTI, we can move on to the sign and symptoms of UTI. UTI may result in more specific sign and symptoms depending on which part of the urinary tract is infected. There are three types of UTI and each type of UTI has different signs and symptoms. First one is acute pyelonephritis and this affects the kidney and the signs and symptoms are back pain or flank pain, high fever, shaking and chills, and nausea or vomiting. Next is cystitis and this affects the bladder. The signs and symptoms of cystitis are pelvic pressure, lower abdomen discomfort, painful urination, and blood in the urine. And last is urethritis and disinfect the urethra. The signs and symptoms for this type of UTI include burning with urination and discharge. If you experience any of the symptoms, you should seek immediate medical attention right away. The most common cause of UTI is bacteria entering the bladder through the urinary system. There are a variety of causes that can stimulate or increase bacterial growth. The risk factors of UTI are being a female. This is due to the fact that a woman's urethra is shorter than a man, reducing the distance bacteria must travel to reach the bladder. Holding your pee. Not going to the bathroom when you have to or not emptying your bladder completely when you go can lead to a buildup of bad bacteria in your bladder. Diabetes Diabetes can result in higher blood and urine sugar levels. Bacterial growth might be encouraged by higher sugar levels in the urine. UTI can be usually treated with antibiotics for example, sulfamethoxazole and phosphomycin and other types of medication such as potassium citrate. In this video, we will be focusing on potassium citrate which can be found over the counter. Potassium citrate is an alkalinizing agent that commonly used to treat mild cystitis and works by lowering the acidity of the urine which may help to relieve the discomfort. Before taking this medicine, you have to consult your doctor if you are pregnant, have a problem the way your kidney works, have a heart condition, or have any other serious illnesses, taking other medicines, and have an allergic reaction with a medicine. Potassium citrate available as effervescent tablets, in sachet, and in liquid medicine. If you are taking the effervescent tablets, Take two tablets up to three times a day. Take the tablets and dissolve it into 200 ml of water. If you are taking in sachet, pour the contents to a whole glassful of water and stir it well before drinking it. Take one sachet three times daily. And lastly, if you are taking liquid medicine, take 10 ml and stir it into a whole glass full of water. This can be taken up to 3 doses a day. It is best to take this medicine with a meal or a bedtime snack or within 30 minutes after your meals. 
Contact your doctor if your symptoms do not improve after 2 days of taking potassium citrate or if you develop a high temperature. Keep all medicines out of the reach and sight of the children. And lastly, please start in a cool, dry place away from direct heat of light. Although UTI cannot always be avoided, you can minimize your chances of developing one. Here are six ways to avoid getting a urinary tract infection. First, drink plenty of liquids, especially water. Drinking water dilutes your urine and encourages you to urinate more frequently, allowing bacteria in your urinary system to be rinsed out before an infection develops. Second is drink cranberry juice. Although research on cranberry juice ability to prevent UTI are inconclusive, it is unlikely to be hazardous. Next is wipe from front to back. After urinating and having a bowel movement, do so to prevent bacteria from spreading from the anal area to the vagina and urethra. Next is empty your bladder soon after intercourse. Next is avoid potentially irritating feminine products. Using deodorant sprays or other feminine products in the genital area such as douches and powders might irritate the urethra. And lastly, change your birth control method. Divegrams or unlubricated or spermicide-treated condoms can all contribute to bacterial growth. So we're coming to the end of this video. Before that, let's play true or false together to the three statements that I will give after this. I am still feeling discomfort even though I already consumed six effervescent tablets of potassium citrate for today. I think I am okay if I take another effervescent tablet so I can feel better. The answer is false because you are not recommended to take more than directed dose. I forgot to take my potassium citrate this morning so I take two doses including this morning. The answer is false. If you miss your dose, take it as soon as possible. However, if it is almost time for the next dose, skip the missed dose and go back to your regular dosing schedule. Remember, do not double dose. Last questions. Hmm, I think I should consult with my doctor before taking potassium cider since I am pregnant. The answer is true. You need to consult your doctor if you are pregnant before taking potassium citrate. So, do you get all correct? If yes, congratulations! I hope you find this video useful and helpful in the future. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!